what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and you're here uh, we have a really really special day ahead of us uh, Steve our friend from the back Audi the, the one we have in the episode uh, check the videos down below you're gonna find them um, he gave, we've been talking for the last couple of weeks saying he has some very exciting things to show us to share with us and uh, he said come on down to my shop I'm gonna show you around and uh, that's exactly what we're doing we're coming to his shop we want to show you guys what he's up to and you won't be disappointed it's a lot of cool stuff uh, but today we want to give a special shout out to a lot of people that are new subscribers thank you every one of you we appreciate you joining our growing family Marquine McBride what's up Marquine and um, Jessica one of our new subscribers as well so I hope everybody's doing well uh, let's make it to Steve's house I cannot show up empty-handed so I got a drink for the men <laughs> gotta keep my hands on the wheel See you there. It's all right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So here we are with Steven. How you hey, doing, man? What's up? Welcome back, guys. <laughs> so he has a lot of surprises in store for for us today. I can. Um, I'm looking at a distance and look. Beautiful. Exciting. Don't know what to expect. Let's see it. <laughs> okay. Miata. Last time. Oh, look at this one. Look at them tires. <laughs> Ooh, what size are they? I think they're 285s. I'll have to check. Don't put me on that one yet. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. Look at that beauty. Wide open. And this, wow. Talk about a true project right here. Wow, look at that color. What is this? It's a 283 small block Chevrolet motor. On a, you all recognize the grill? <laughs> Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> okay, so talk, walk us through your garage. What is it that you have going on at the moment? So right now, that's my bracket race car okay. that I well, got. Um, um, what, you, this is your first year back at it, right? First year back at it. I used to, let me see if I can find a picture. <laughs> used to do it way back in the day here. Let me see, I know I got one somewhere. I'll put my drink right here. Look at these guys. Got so it? it? Yep, there's me back in the day. Ooh, uh, right there, there, right there. Mm, so this is nothing new to you then? No, no, nah, I've been racing for a while and when I got out of the military, wanted to get back in it. So this is kind of yeah. mine and dad's little race car we're messing with. Right. It's it's fun, it's a good, good consistent car. Not mm -hmm. the fastest, but. What, did, what, what kind of time are you pulling on it right now? Uh, low eights, eight eleven is my best time. Okay. And an eighth of a mile. So, but we're trying to run a 750 class. We got a little bit of tuning to do, and we're going to run 750 index racing. Nice, very nice. So, not too fast, just something that's still streetable. It's full street legal car, uh -huh. still got lights and everything on it. Wow, look at the interior. Hey. <laughs> Don't look stuck at all in the inside. <laughs> oh. Still got working headlights, turn signals, mm -hmm. tail lights, everything. So Very still, nice. Just that's can't roll the right windows down on it, but. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh, yeah, look. Uh, there ain't no need to roll windows down on the drag strip. <laughs> no, no, no reason. No reason to. Wow. Well, but so my very first car was a 92 Fox Body. Fox Body is GT. This, a lot of good this, is, for this is an 89. Uh -huh. So, this, yeah. I mean, I was 16 years old and was driving a 92 GT. So. Uh -huh wanted to get something in and they're just they're simple to build they're i mean it's not like it's going to break the bank 
Right. I think we bought this one for about five grand and it had the engine in it and was running and we had to just put the gauges in the dash, put mm -hmm. the seat belt, some small stuff, tune the carburetor and I put maybe $800 in it since I bought mm -hmm. it and put new front tires on it. Cleaned it up, put a new I'm, battery in I'm it. I always like that that tire style, though. You know, a lot of people do the five spoke on the uh, what is it, whale wheels? Yeah. See. Okay. Yeah, I had whale wheels on my old old one also. Uh huh. This is this is take you back right here. This is my very first mm. car. I don't know where there'd be a good spot to put it. Probably right there. That's my it. very first car, and then the very first car show I ever won. Wow. Uh. Look how little I was. I was 16 years old. Where did that one go? That was in Bow Weevil Festival in Marshville. Really? Yeah. I've seen Marshville, so. <laughs> wow. How long has it, how long how old are these pictures? Oh man, that was 2004. 2004. This is. Yeah, that's at the show. The show uh -huh. I won. Okay, okay. Yep. Very cool. I won man. best 92 up custom that day. So. Wow. Sweet. Now. Odd, odd observation, it is a Mustang. Yeah. But we have a. <laughs> it's because it's cheap. <laughs> it is cheap, right? Cheap power. <laughs> cheap power. And they actually, you know, a lot of people take kind of take them from gra for granted, but they're pretty consistent for I, the most yeah, part. I don't want to say cheap. That's probably not affordable. Okay, let's it, go you know, with affordable. So affordable because, <laughs> I mean, they're, the parts, the 302 is a great, great engine, uh -huh. but the parts that are available for a 350 Chevrolet. I mean, it cost me two hundred and sixty dollars to rebuild that one completely uh -huh. with a big bore kit for two hundred sixty bucks. You can't beat that. You can't. You can't beat that. Man. That's a little bit smaller than this one, but that's just a rat rod, so uh -huh. I don't need to go that fast in it. I just want to sound pretty good. <laughs> right. But this is impressive, man. I, I really like it. And that's just an all stock. That's completely bone stock V six uh -huh. that my dad picked up. He got, the guy wanted it out of his yard. We went and picked it up, and he gave us title for it. So. We're gonna to try to put a V8 in that one also, uh -huh. convert it over to, dad wants to do a 289 or you know a 302 carbureted, I wanna put a Chevrolet motor in it. So <laughs> we're still bickering about that, but we'll, right. we'll, get, we'll get through it. It's really my wow. mom's cars. Mm -hmm. he, he won't say that, don't, don't. But okay, <laughs> dad didn't hear that. Yeah. No, don't see, you can't see this part, dad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you can put it in there, it's fine. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but I like this, man. It, it looks look really, really, really nice. Ride it a bit. We can? Yeah. Sweet. Let's see. Oh, it is. It does. It is a street car. You say right? Yeah, street. Car. Nice. And then th this is your little drift missile. Yeah. Right. Look, it's it's been in a ditch a lot. <laughs> in the ditch. It's been in the ditch. A lot. <laughs> uh, That's my daily driver right now. So I don't uh -huh. try to do too much on it because I sold right. sold some stuff. So I'm trying to just daily it. But it's got a stage two racing clutch in it, new radiator, and it needs rear brakes now because I keep dragging the e-brake on it. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. All right, so let's head up and let's let's go for a quick ride on the that bad boy right there all right let's get it all right so we are in the car we're, uh, we're gonna hear i'm assuming it's a cold start you haven't run it today right no all right what's the sequence you just master switch on uh-huh fuel prime once you prime fuel you'll have your start <laughs>
it. Yeah. <laughs> it pulls hard, it sounds good, it feels good. Ain't nothing wrong with it. We're back in the garage. <laughs> the words cannot explain the feeling that I'm about, the emotions, the feeling. I mean, man, it's just crazy. The rush, the adrenaline behind it. Man, thanks for the ride. Hey, no I problem. No problem. Any time for a friend, man. Yeah, man, and uh, we do. We we're gonna be doing a lot of follow up whenever the track days open back up, and it's you know we can gather a hundred people or more. Man, it's we're gonna be right there with him, and man, uh, we really wish you nothing but success in your track days, man. Well, thanks, man. Really, thank you. Wish nothing but the best. Let's do a walkout. <laughs> All right, so walk us through your process, what you're shooting for, the reason behind this build right here. So I got this car with the idea that I wanted a fast diesel car uh -huh. that was kind of attainable. So I got it, it come factory with the five cylinder turbo diesel. Okay. And I started doing research on how much it was gonna cost to get the injection pump sent off to Germany to do like twin turbos or something and it was just the cost was out outrageous so I kind of parked it here in the garage and waited on something to come along and then two weeks ago my buddy had the engine for sale and coronavirus we're not doing anything I'm <laughs> stuck here in the shop most days after work so I was like dude I'll buy the engine and put it in Mercedes he's like all right so I got the engine good deal on the engine bought a rebuild kit for it rebuilt everything bottom in everything and uh Got the valve curves from your brother and mm -hmm. just decided to throw it in the Mercedes and see what we can do. So we pulled everything out, streamlined it, leveled it up, mocked up the engine mounts and all. It, I think it was in and out like eight, nine times. The engine mm -hmm. block in, out, in, right, out, right. measuring and stuff, make sure it's right. And um, once I got everything kind of where I wanted it, I tacked it all in. And my buddy came down yesterday and helped me weld it all in. He's a little bit better welder than I am. So but this is what you were, what we're talking about right here. Yeah. Right here. Yep. Made the engine mounts and made it sit in there. And then the turbo 400 transmission mocked it up, got the engine mounts and we're going to be able to use the factory location on the engine mount of the trans mount on that. Okay. So basically it's just something to do while I'm bored and get there. Cause I paid 800 bucks for the car. And so it's just going to be a four door rat rod that sounds good basically. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just going to have two seats in it now. Still going to have four doors, but two seats. Mm -hmm. And, you know, no dash, just have gauges hanging off and just be something. So the, the you were telling me just a, a while ago, the, the factory weight of this thing? 3,700 pounds. <laughs> that is heavy. I'm trying to get it down below 3,000 pounds so it can go a little bit. But right. I don't expect it to be no showstopper. I don't expect it to win no car shows or beat nobody on the drag strip. But I do expect it to turn heads and mm -hmm. get looks because I think when you pull up and you got a Chevrolet motor that's out of like a 1960-something car in a 1980 Mercedes. You know, people are going to – I think David Alfaro is upset with me because I keep changing it. He's like, just sell me the car. Sell me <laughs> – he wanted it the way it was. and You can't have it, David. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, it's been fun. I totally stripped the engine bay on it and mm -hmm. cleaned it all up. I mean, it's just – it's bare minimum stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, going to keep it that way, put the hood back on it and – I ran the exhaust out the hood, so I'm going to figure out something there for something different. But I've got to come up with my headers on this. Yeah. 
because I have no room to go down the steering box on that side. So it's still a work in progress. Hopefully be running in a couple weeks and then we'll jump on the interior and everything and get it right, stripped down and just make it light and as light as possible and it's fun, you know? Mm -hmm. That is an awesome. So it, it, it is an odd combination of mix of both worlds, but uh, it, it sounds like it's gonna end up pretty solid. Uh, so man, can't wait to see the final product. We're gonna come back and do a follow up on this thing once uh, it's a little bit farther down in the process. Uh, so we're gonna be right there for him as well. This is only about a week's work. So if, as long as everything keeps going good, we'll keep finding parts that are used and just laying around and everything. We, we should be doing pretty good. I've got the old gauge cluster out of another drag bar uh -huh. that we have. So I'm just gonna rig it up, put the gauges back in it, throw it in there. You know, probably get a tack somewhere. I gotta get a shifter, you know, two seats, some belts, put the doors and hood back on, and that's pretty much it. The ac exterior is just gonna be sanded down and cleared the way it is. It ain't okay. gonna be nothing. I'm gonna put white wall tires on it and just make it outside be like, oh, look at that, it's cool. And then you know, when you pop the hood, it's gonna be chrome and pretty and all that. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Cool. chrome and line. What's that, lime green? Look at that combination. Yeah, yeah that's so it is odd indeed, but man, uh, again, it is, it is, is looking very promising. Yeah, it definitely is. All right, let's move on. All right, everybody, we're about to close this video up. But uh, uh, Steve, one more, once again, thank you very much for bringing us out to your garage, showing us what all you have going on. Impressive work, man. Looking forward to track days. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna yeah. we're gonna have a lot of track days follow up coming up. So, but stay tuned for that. Um, good luck, man. Hey, good thank luck. You, thank you. Good Thanks luck. for coming down again. It's always a pleasure, bub. Always. Always. <laughs> so next time we're gonna come down and hook the grill up. You local, hit the DM. Uh, we'll let you know where we at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come out and eat some burgers and stuff, man. We we'll, we'll, we'll certainly will do that. So until next episode, guys, buckle up and keep tuning. Be safe.